Kiefer. Say what's up. Yo. Oh, my God, he's here. Kiefer, what's going on, baby? I see you. Okay, Kiefer. Oh, he's got the he's got the mullet coming back. Oh, it's back. Oh, it's back, baby. Kiefer's back. First of all, I want to say, Kiefer, man, it's so good to see you. Uh, Kiefer is a very, very, very good friend of mine. You guys know this. And uh, we just finished the episode, uh, big episode, Spicy V. We're going to get all into it in a second, but I'm going to say right now, uh, we are going to put this on YouTube. We are live right now on Kick Streaming and Twitch. And uh, so if you guys in the chat, you see the chat down here, if you have any questions, you want to say anything, please do. You're going to be part of the video as well. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube after, make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Kiefer, my brother, big episode. We're going to get right into it. Tell me what's going on. You played with Spicy. You like Spicy. What's going on, man? What, what, talk to me. Let's go. I love Spice, man. Um, that was hard to honestly. That was hard to watch. That was a yeah. tough watch for me. Um, you know, I've been able to build a relationship with Anthony as well. Right. Um, you, you know, you know Anthony. You know Dougie. Like, I don't know if he stopped gaming since season seven. To be honest, hundred percent, he hasn't, man. You just you 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 fall in love with him as soon as you meet him. We we've played Call of Duty with him on this stream. And he's genuinely one of the nicest guys you've ever met. Mm -hmm. But we all know he's got that dog in him, obviously. Um, so that was a tough watch. I'm, I, I, I really hope I never have to watch any of my friends play Big Brother ever again. It's tough, man, because that's what I'm. It's tough because yeah, like you say, like uh, Dougie. Actually, this is the, the Call of Duty squad right here. It's me, you, and Dougie. That's our Call of Duty squad. Yeah. And uh, and so we know Dougie. Oh, you just busted your camera, Kiefer. Kiefer, you just busted your camera, man uh oh there he goes so we know we know uh dougie very well and we also know uh, v and 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 you know Kiefer played with v and stuff it's hard watching your your friends play especially when you're they're against they're with each other but you know you see this coming and they're kind of you know at the, at the point where they got to go against it it is tough to watch uh but i want to i want to ask you was this the right move for dougie do you think uh he had to do it now do you think it was the right play does he keep her can he beat her what, what do we think here man you bro yeah. i think if it's the right move say it again sorry but i think only time will tell if it's the right move mm -hmm. but i mean it's the biggest move to make he can't take out todd todd won veto he's not going to take out bailey he's definitely not going to take out lexus this is it spice was the last big move in the game mm -hmm. it, it kind of reminds me like when i went out i was literally the last big move to, to go out so it's just it just it's a it's an inconvenient time and Dougie really needed something for his resume. Uh, and taking out Spice EV uh, after she kind of just like, I guess, I think maybe the whole jury might feel backstabbed by her, might celebrate her walking in to that jury house, which that jury segment has to be one of the lamest jury segments oh, God. I've seen out of any year of Big Brother. That was so just, bad, it, I was so excited for it. And then it was over. I was like, this is... Dude, it was so ass. bad. I gotta say though, man, this so cast bad. is just atrociously bad, dude. Like, they are by far. And uh, dude, I, it's so funny, man. Like, Alum will always message me and be like, "Man, I love the amount of hate you have for this cast. Like, they love how much I hate this cast. It is a bad cast. It is an absolutely painfully atrocious cast. Like, I will say with my full chest, the worst cast we've ever had. Period. I, I'll say it. You don't have to say it, Kiefer. You keep your. You keep your. Uh, you keep it. You keep it cool worst cast i've ever seen by far dude it's not even close and uh and, and no players like entertaining but no players none none dude none, none. there was two players this season and that is dougie Oof. and v and that's it you could squeeze bailey Man, in there somewhere a little bit sure nobody else Dennis, maybe question mark don't go after the big bell Bosky when you're only uh, when the ally is Vivek, you're just not going to take him out. I don't know. It it just you're you're 100 right on how bad this really makes me miss BB Can 11. And to me, BB Can 11 was not that great. It really makes me miss BB Can 10 and how spoiled we were with <laughs> BB Can 10. How good how good does BB Can 10 look compared to BB Can 12? Like it just it's night and day. Yeah, it's pretty rough, man. It was pretty. It, it's pretty rough. The cat, the cast is bad. Now there were so many chances 
throughout the season to do stuff, right? We've seen the the executive veto. Uh, there was um, uh, the, the murder mystery or whatever the hell that was called. There was all these opportunities to do something, and they just fumbled. Like, uh, who was it? Vivek going home in, in, in the executive veto? Like, what is that? V- Vivek, uh, come on, man. Like, that guy was lost. That guy was lost. Uh, Goose going in the other one. Like, what is going on here? And and I agree with you that, that, um, that uh, jury segment was just – painful man like painful and i was and i was talking about it in the stream right before uh, the episode i said like they haven't even shown us a, a jury segment like that's weird to me and then you watch that jury so you're like yeah that's why like what are they gonna give you these guys are just they're lost you have goose what the i can't with that guy dude like oh flipping frogs flipping i'm i'm just so uh, abs- this is so absurd right now like what are you doing man like i just i don't know i can't dude I just can't, man. And it's just, you know, I don't know. No, I just can't, it's dude. Bad. It's just, it's, it, it's just so it's, painful to watch. And and uh, anyway, um, let's talk about V. What do you think of her gameplay this year? I thought she improved a lot. Um, I thought she's still very messy, and you, like you just got to pick a side. At the end of the day, people need to know where your cards lie. And she just continued to play the middle right to the end. I don't like Arissa said it. Why aren't you trying to convince Bailey and Todd? She should have put everything she had into Bailey and Todd. And we don't know as viewers in this post live feed era if she did or didn't. So we only got what the digital dailies gave us and what they showed us on the episode, which kind of was exactly what the digital daily showed us. Right. So we don't really know. Um, I, I know Spice does, wouldn't go down without a fight. And then uh, that shit she said to uh, Dougie gave me hella anxiety because I love both of them. And I feel like there's definitely going to be a rift now. I keep trying to deny that they might fuck with each other after the show. But I don't know, man. Spice Spice knows how to hold on to a grudge. And, <laughs> and Dougie may be unbothered with his, with his title of winner of BB Can 12. Yeah. That's and I and I agree. I th- and I've talked about this many times as well on the stream. It's like when you go back as a returning player, everybody's disposable. That you have, they have to be. They have to be, and you have to have that mindset uh, simply because you've already walked out the doors. These two players know what it's like. I knew what it was like to walk out th- those doors once. I don't want to do that again. Everybody's disposable, and that includes your friends, your allies, your whatever, your closest people, because only one person wins, right? And and I think Anthony took a shot. I think it was a good time to take the shot. I think he's kind of his hands are tied regardless. I think uh, Final Four. Winning, winning Final five, 5 HOH is rough because you're going into Final Four. And, and, and as you guys know, Final Four, the only safety is HOH and Veto. That's it. Everything else, everybody else is on the block. So it's, it's tough to win a Final 5 HOH. He needed it, I think. But at the same time, it's like now he only has one little safety net where he can't win the HOH. So he has to win the Veto. Either him or um, Lexus have to win the Veto um, to kind of keep him safe, right? <clears throat> so... It's tough, man. It's tough. And let, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I feel like Bailey may keep him safe, though. I feel like Bailey might actually, if Bailey were to win the veto, I feel like Bailey would take out Lexus if Lexus is an HOH. See, I'm torn on that. I, I feel like yes, but I also feel like no. I feel like Bailey's like, listen, as bad as these guys are, I think Bailey is at the top of the food chain when it comes to who's left, other than Dougie, obviously. And I think she, especially with what happened with V, I'm sure V said some stuff. I'm sure V, like you heard at the end of the episode, Bailey's like, what's the hot chocolate? What is that? You know what I mean? So I'm sure V said some stuff. And Bailey and Todd are going to sit and talk and be like, wait, what? You know? And they've been saying before, it's us two versus those two. Like, there's always been sides. There's no secret that it was Lexus and Dougie versus Bailey and, uh, and Todd. And, like, V was in the middle there, you know, playing both sides. Uh, and she got caught. My biggest thing for me is I'm surprised that it took this long for the cast to figure out that V was in the middle. How bad does this cast have to be to find out at final five? Like, that is crazy. That kind of stuff gets figured out early. Now, maybe is it because V was playing a really good game? Am I just not giving her enough credit? Was she playing that good of a game? Or are these players just that fucking bad? You know what I mean? It's... Or is it a mixture of both? Now, I don't want to take anything away from Dougie. I, I don't want to take anything away from V. But, like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. Like, that kind of stuff gets figured out very early on any season, man. 
I usually love to disagree with you. For the past three seasons, I've been disagreeing with you, but I can't this season. I can't defend them anymore. <laughs> I can't defend our new family members anymore. They're terrible. A whole lot. I just like like Ika said, one of probably your favorite player to ever play the game, Ika Wong. Bruno, am I right? She said. Big Brother, if you ever do an All-Stars, please call nobody back from this season. A hundred percent. I got to agree with, I got to agree with Ika. Like, this has just been so disappointing. As if, just as a fan, just as someone who, who loves the show. Like, I'm going to put my feelings aside for Spice and Dougie, whom I love. Um, but it's just, it just hasn't been it. It's just been it's just not been giving. It's it's been really brutal. it was bad. Like it was like bad. But this is another point I want to talk about, man. You can't this is why you can't bring either you bring everybody back or you bring nobody back. You can't have these half and halves, these two people here. I was a I was part of the half and half. And the 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 newbies sucked. Like they just sucked, man. It, it's it's not they're not even in the same fucking league, man. You know what I mean? And then you look at this season and you put Dougie in there and V in there. And then you put these, these, they're not even the same league. It's not even the same universe. And it's just like, you're just wait. We, okay, put it this way. We've waited this entire season for this moment, dude. Literally, we've just been waiting for this one moment yeah. the entire season. And it happens to be the week before finale. And we finally got what we were waiting for because that was the only thing to, to look forward to. And it's crazy, man. Like, it's actually crazy. So, Big Brother, if you're watching this, either bring everybody back. Or nobody back because it just doesn't work. Period, man. They might, they might be watching this. One time I was there, they brought up your stream. So I know, I know, I know they, they watch they it. Watch. I, do, I know they watch it. I know they do. I know, <laughs> I know. But yo, big shout, out, big brother. I love you. You already know, man. You already know. You know, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big brother. Yeah, I love you too. I love you too. No, I, don't, I, Kiefer doesn't love you. you. Anyway, uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I, I just want to say. Uh, listen, I love I love what V did. I know people are shitting on V, um, you know, with her gameplay. I I think she honestly, I'm gonna say this right now. I think V was the best player. If I, you know, I, I think Dougie's doing a good job. I think V was the best player. If I gotta say, if I gotta be honest, man, she killed her social game was top tier. She was messy. She was very messy. Okay, and a lot of the shit she was doing shouldn't have worked. It again in a real season with real players, that shit wouldn't fly. She'd be gone, no problem. See you later. Hundred percent. But with this cast, it's working. And she was out so she was her social game was very, very good, man. And uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, her social game was very good. It was very messy. It was very sloppy. It shouldn't have worked, but it magically did. Was Dougie there picking up the pieces? We don't know. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. But uh, I don't know. What do you think of her game? It, it mirrored a lot of season nine. Like, I know you didn't like her game in season nine, but she didn't get in. She didn't choose the right. Her side never won. Her side right. sucked. It was the oddballs. Like, they they just didn't win. After I won an HOH in my season, they just never won. It took all the way until, like, the final six when Tara won and we took out Jed by convincing him to use the veto on himself. Like, <laughs> V got in early, thankfully, on the majority alliance. And she was able to have Dougie on the other side of the house. But she just played the middle for way too long. Mm -hmm. it, it, you get caught playing. The, a friend of everybody is a friend of nobody. A wise man once told me. So I, I just, I wish she put more attention into convincing bailey and todd that anthony was manipulating them and it wasn't the other way around he just has power and caesar is the biggest threat where really he's the biggest threat because at the end of the day even after all this shit i think v would be reluctant but i think she'll vote for anthony i do i don't know yeah here's the thing man I, for me if that's if i get there it's tough, man. It's tough because I, I, a part of me thinks, here's the thing. A part of me thinks she was really loyal to Anthony and she would have brought him to the final two. A part of me thinks when that opportunity arises and if Anthony was on the block or if one of her, if Todd wins HOH, she'd be like, this is the time to take him out. I'm so torn, you know, because she can always now just say, hey, I would have taken him to final two. I would have done it because there's no proof. But I think if the shot was there, I can't see a world where she doesn't take it. I don't see a world where she doesn't take it. 
I, I agree. It, it was a relationship of convenience, an alliance of convenience. And conveniently, Dougie won the HOH, and Todd won the POV, and Spicy's in Jerry. That's tough. But I I feel for her, man. I I really do. I actually feel, I do feel bad. Like she was getting cocky and that's, that's one of the big problems in the house. Once you start getting too cocky, because that happens when you're winning everything and everyone, everything's going your way. You're like, yo man, I'm untouchable. Like, how is this? They can't stop me. Everything's going this way. Nothing's coming towards me. Everything's the winds up my back. And, and then it's like, all of a sudden it just flips, man. And it's like, oh shit. And, and it happens. It's, it's easy to get like that. You know, everything's going your way. And then you know, and, but but for Dougie to do it, I think that's the big dagger, and I think that's gonna burn for a while. Having having your best friend, your ride or die, because here's the thing, man. We know, like Dougie and and V are very good friends. You know. Yeah. And going and, he and goes that's, to her birthday, friends every year. And that's one of the things. This year they're gonna be at his birthday. I don't think. And that's that's one. I think that's castings. I don't know if they did it on purpose to give them a better chance, but you can't do that shit. You can't put two like very good friends in the house together. Like you saw night one, they come in the house, they have the safety and all that shit, and then it's like night one, they're like on the ground running, like okay, this is what we're gonna do. They're making plans. They have, the, and everyone else is still trying to learn everyone's names. You know, like you can't do that. Like it, I think the fun, the fun angle would have been if you get two players that don't like each other, then you really have like, yo, man, I'm on this guy's side or I'm on this girl's side or whatever it is. You know what I mean? And it really would have put a divide in the house. You have two friends, like they're just gonna run the show, and they did. You know, what do you what do you think of Dougie's yeah. game? I think it's pretty masterful from from starting with Kayla, getting Kayla out getting Avery, which may go down like, you know, Ryan Ballantyne might just be, you know, he might have been doing backflips because it makes his HOH look almost not that bad when he got Shout rid of Ryan. Hamza, like one of his number one. So Avery getting rid of Kayla might be the dumbest move in the history of Big Brother. It's up wait, there. Wait, it's top wait, wait, There's worse no than, it's not top. Worse than Vivek taking out Dennis? Yes. Yeah. Way yeah. worse. Yeah, you're right. Deeper in the game. Yeah, you're right. You have more time to build a relationship. Yeah. Um, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. And it's Vivek. What are we talking about here? Avery claims to be a super fan. Literally, when she got evicted, she said, I'm the best player in the game. Oh, God. That was painful. Tough to look. To. Uh, that was the, like, that's going to end up on a cringe compilation. Like, that's tough. That was hard that's to so watch. tough to see. Kiefer, man. What, what is wrong yeah. with this? What is going on these days, man? This is the new gen. We need to buckle up. This is how reality TV is going. So bad, dude. It's so bad. It's it, it's it's beautiful people with no ideas. A hundred percent. That's what hundred. You nailed it right there, man. You nailed it. Just give us what the raw. Give us the raw people again, man. Just give us the players. You know. Yeah. I don't know, man. It just. It, it's been it's been disappointing, but it's also been fun to watch at the end of the day watching Dougie do his things I think one of his lines was like sometimes you have to turn your back to the crowd to lead the orchestra like yeah. that's beautiful right there who, Bruh, you know what I who love? says that shit you know what I love you know what I love man uh, he, a lot of his lines are from like wrestlers and stuff right you know that right Razor Ramon and Bret Hart and uh, Mr. Perfect you know he, he gets his but they're good they're good lines you know they're good lines uh, I got to give him credit, man. He does. We got Marty Frenette. Look, we got we got Kiefer, who was Canada's favorite player on season nine. We got Marty Frenette in the chat, who was uh, Canada's favorite player on season ten. You know who we're missing? John yeah, Leonard. Marty. John Leonard, where you at, man? Get in here. John and Todd. Todd's gonna be the new one. Todd. Yeah. What do you? Know, we, yeah. I knew is that Canada loved me, and I didn't expect Canada to fall in love with me and give me all their votes. So. Thank you, Canada. I got to say, it's God either going to be... Ba I think Bailey... Listen, I, I got to be very honest. I'm going to say this... Okay. What are we talking about? Bruno, you called it last year. You called it the year before. And you're going to call Bailey this I've, year? Are you good? I've called God. Canada's favorite player every year. I called you. I called Marty. And I you called... You did not call me. 
Chat, Guy, chat, get my back right now. Chat, get my back right now. I called Kiefer for Canada's favorite. I called Marty for Canada's favorite. And I called John Leonard for Canada's favorite. I've called. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. They got my back. I called all three Canada's favorites. Now, here's the thing, okay? This one's a split for me. Is it Todd or is it Bailey? I think it could be Bailey, man. Uh, Bailey's part of the East Coast, I would too. Love it to be it could Very be Todd. Weird. It might be. That's the problem, man. It's like, it's one of them. They Todd love or... their accents, man. Bailey don't got an accent. She's not really repping it in the shows. She's not really bringing it up as much. She's not identifying properly. They playing her cards right to win it. She's playing her cards right. She's most like, in my eyes right now, she's most likely to win this game. Are you talking about Bailey? Which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to tell you like, right now. If she sits next to Todd, she wins. If she sits next to Dougie, she most likely wins. If she sits like next to Lexus, she wins. One hundred percent takes her. One hundred percent might actually take her if it's her and Todd, and she, Bailey could win over Anthony and get Pauled, which would be insane. I pray that doesn't happen. I tell you right now, if Bailey's um, sitting in the final two, she wins. She definitely beats Anthony. She definitely beats uh, I forget her name, Lexus. She definitely beats Todd. Like she wins. She wins in the end, a hundred percent. Yeah. Look yeah. at tonight's episode. I, I believe it. I, and I'll tell I mean, you I something. I, I don't know. I'll tell you something, man. I was hard on Bailey at the beginning of the year. I I didn't like her whole like you know her whole shtick and stuff. I wasn't I wasn't a fan of it. But I'll be honest, man. And I say it as it is. I'm just I keep it real. Uh, she's grown on me. She's definitely grown on me the last couple of weeks. I see a different side of her. I just I feel like again on a, on a regular season with regular players. I I think she, she's too emotional. She takes things so personal. She you know she just I feel like she takes things way too personal. She's so emotional about things. Um, but it works in this cast. A lot of things work in this cast for some reason. I, I don't get it, man. But then you got guys like Todd in there and Vivek and like these just Matt and Lexus. Like half the cast don't even know where they are right now. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's unbelievable, man. You know, unbelievable. So it works. It works. It, it, yeah, it works. It works, and it's at the end of the day, that's just who's going to have to represent the season. Like I'm really pulling for Dougie now. Like I really hope that he could pull. He won the Final Four veto before. Mm -hmm. He's done it. So I'm hoping that he wins it again. I hope and so too. Can, uh, obviously, like, I'm. I'm Team Doug, and right? his knowledge is his there of the game. It's there, so when we think about the Final Four veto, it's gonna it's gonna mix athletics with knowledge of the game, which I think is gonna eliminate Todd. Todd's gone. I don't know how well Todd has been studying. I, I think he's gonna get frustrated at some of the questions that come up. And Dougie, it's gonna be a race between Dougie Bailey and Lexus. I'm not counting Lexus out. You know, she's still there. At the end of the day, she survived. I think volunteering to go on the block was whack um she should have fought that a little harder maybe uh, but i haven't ever minded lexus's game i thought she chose a side she kind of loosely played on whatever side she hasn't wanted to get any power to do anything and the results of the um big brother will show i don't think she really has a chance to win the game no matter who she sits next to maybe todd todd i don't even know lexus. if she beats todd it depends if the girls want to keep the girl thing going or whatever's Dude, I don't yeah. think she can win. But like, then you'll have Dougie. She's a yeah, walking ATM. In my either. opinion, she's a walking $100,000 check. You sit beside her, you just want $100,000. You don't even need to make a speech. You just stand up and yeah. say thank you and sit down and you win. Like, she's a walking ATM right now, bud. Like, who's going to vote for like Be honest, man. Like, I, it's no shade. I know you're you're a nice guy. I know you don't want to, like, cause no shit. I don't care. No, like, I don't know. I don't know. I one of the most you and, and with all due know. respect, I got no shade about her personally. Like I'm sure she's a nice person in the real world. I'm just talking Big Brother like I always do. Like I'm I don't know these people, you know? I've seen them on a TV show. Uh, you know, I don't know them, you know, but uh I, I dude, like who wh what did she do? Like what did she do, man? You know? It's it's it is what it is, man, you know, and I'm just being honest about it. I don't think she has the votes. Um, anyway, what do you think about uh, the play tonight? And and like, it was hard, man. It was so hard to watch. And um, seeing V go like that, and she, you know, I, I don't know, man. She really was like, she was all in, man. I think I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I feel like she was all in. I feel like she was cutting them. I don't know. But to see her go like that was tough, man. And and um, yeah, she's this is gonna sting for a while. I don't know if she's gonna get over this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was, I was hoping. Uh, my wife was asking me. She's like, yo. 
you think Anthony and V are going to be friends? I was like, yeah, I think so. All of a sudden, V fucking smashes a glass, <laughs> calling him a little bitch and shit. I'm just like, yo, Dougie's not going to forget that. And V's not going to forget this shit either. No, it's no. literally Clash of the Titans on 100. Like, they're literally two big dogs in a world. There's a reason why they were the two called back. They're fucking big dogs in a fucking pile of puppies. What they're you- great white sharks and fucking a fish tank of minnows. What are your thoughts on them bringing back um, V and, a- and Anthony? What, out of those two, out of everybody, do you think that's the right call? Do you think? I mean, now that we've seen it play out, obviously we, you know, we're a little, we could be biased one way or the other. But do you think that those two, those two were the right ones, or do you think they should have done something else? I wish there was a couple more, like season five. I mean, season five undoubtedly was one of my favorite seasons of Big Brother ever. So I, I wouldn't have been mad if they replicated that. But I, I, I love. V and Anthony, I, I think I got very lucky as an alum to have two of my good friends go in the house and it wasn't anybody who I didn't fuck with or didn't like because I would have been cheesed if there was, you know, a couple people. We all have those people as alum. Name them. You, know, you got more than a few. Name them right <laughs> we now. Got, we got more than a few. I'm not Name them right now. Um, <laughs> half of my cast. Um, <laughs> By name. <laughs> No, I'm just no, starting no, no, shit. No. I'm just. I'm just saying. Shit. No, I think for backstories and love of the game. Um, I mean, this is like at the end of the day, this is Spicy V's fourth season in a row, either being on the season or appearing on the season. That's pretty. That's pretty damn big. Um, you know, like, and if we're gonna talk backstories, like the backstory of Spice is so endearing. If you have, you know, fifteen twenty minutes to hear about how she got to where she is today. It's a fucking miracle, man. It's a goddamn fucking miracle. And same with Dougie. Dougie's been going through a lot lately, losing his good homie and just going in there, keep his mind off it, take his mind off reality and go into reality TV and try to win some money to further him and, and better his life. Cause at the end of the day, this is going to be good for spice with spill the tea with spicy B. It's going to open up a lot of doors for both of them. So I'm super happy and proud. It couldn't happen to two better people. And we all knew this. You're right. We've been waiting for this day since they walked into the house for them to go head up at each other. And Dougie was on top. I, I agree. And I think I, I'll be honest. I don't think this is the last time you see V on a show. I think she's going to be this. Yeah. This is opening a lot for her. She was so good. Like she I'm telling you, man, like when she came in and, and there's no shade to her. I, I love V. I think she's amazing. I, I love V. OK, but I was looking at it like she's there for the entertainment she's not there to play the game she's going to bring some entertainment she's going to get you know pre-jury probably you know that she should have been both of them should have been like straight up um that's what i thought okay she'll be pre-jury and then you just rinse and repeat and 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 move on but she was so good so entertaining i enjoyed like i'm i'm thankful she was on because without her man who knows this like she she carried this cast she legit carried this season and and a big big shout out to, to spicy for that man um she did a great job she did a really good job so uh, i was surprised at first i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit surprised that it was if out of two people um i was a little surprised but i get it like i understand why they do it they're not gonna just cast everyone because they're these great players they're gonna cast it because they want entertainment yeah. um but no it was it was the right choice I, I agree with you i wish there was more people i i this two people i don't like that i don't you know i want to see either nobody or everybody, but even everybody, the way this, this system is now, you know how Big Brother works, man. It's so choked. You can't even have returning, but everybody knows everybody now. Everybody knows every. You can't do mm-hmm. returnees, man. It doesn't work. There's so much pre-gaming done. Like, and it's not just like, oh, they're doing calls. Let's pick up the phone. It's done already. There's birthday parties. There's bashes. There's there's events. There's it's 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 all done already. So it's like it, with bringing anybody back is just not going to work. There's just too much behind the scenes stuff locked in and it's unfortunate it's unfortunate but um i don't know yeah. that's you know how my take is on that i would like to see like maybe someone from season one like maybe peter brown get Damn his it. chance back in that fucking house maybe season two let's let's let adele get back in that bitch Dude, i'd love to see adele um, in there man. i love adele adele's a beaut adele oh arlie God. fucking adele, jump hard adele, adele would have run the cast Oh, it would, it would have been too easy yeah. for him. Yeah. Like, he, it would have been too. Like, I, I was texting with someone tonight, and I would have been like, if Beth was in Spicy's place, Beth would have been running that fucking house. It would have been a cult. They would have been all planning their fucking trips to Alberta 
and handing her a hundred thousand dollars like these people i just it's tough it's so tough to watch. Been a good cast to be on uh keith yeah, I wish. I wish. I know. As I was, every every alumni talk is like, fuck, man. Why couldn't this be the year? You know? Like, fuck, dude. Uh, but, okay, so what are, what are we looking at? We're looking at Final Four. We're looking at Final Four here. Okay? By, by the way, I want to give a big shout-out to Marty. Marty is in the in the chat right now. Marty, I see you, buddy, and I appreciate you for being here, man. What an absolute beauty. He does come in the stream from time to time. I appreciate it, bud. Um, and I, I want to say um, we're at Final Four now. So V's gone. See you later. Bye. Okay? That's it. She's gone. Uh, we got Dougie. We got Bailey. We got Todd. And we got uh, the other one there, Lexus. And uh, fuck. I, she, bro, I just watched her five minutes ago, and she's that forget. I'm so, no disrespect, but dude. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, man. Non-existent, oh bud. Non-existent, bud. And, um, and uh, final four, what, what do we think here? What's the play? What's, what's going to happen? I'm going to draw the whole season out for you right now. Bailey's going to win HOH. It's going to be, they're going to be in a little tiny room. They're going to be hitting a little button, guessing different things. Bailey's going to win that. They're going to go final four veto. Anthony's going to win that. I'm sorry. Dougie is going to, he's going to step up. He's going to win that. Bailey's not going to be trying as hard because she's not going to want the vote. She's really, she's already safe. She's going to final three. Any final three looks great for Bailey. So it's between Dougie, Todd, and Lexus. Dougie's going to win that. He's going to take out Todd because it's going to be a better chance to win the final three. Dougie's going to win the final three HOH. Who's he going to take? Not Bailey. He's going to take Lexus because he's smart. Because what is she? She's a walking ATM. Give Dougie $100,000. Let's see him buy bottle service in Toronto next week. And let's just... Get ready for BBUS and let's enjoy their problematic issues because they have live feeds and we get to see who the racists are. But guess what? There's no reason to even watch the next week. Kiefer just played it out to you. Big shout out to Dougie, the winner of BB Can 12. Let's go. We don't even need to watch it. We don't. We really don't. All right. Give me one sec here, guys. <laughs> Kira came in and just hooked up. Marty with a sub. Big shout out to Kira. Thank you so much. We are giving away my season five veto chip, Kiefer. See that? I can't believe you got yours and I didn't get mine. What, you didn't get yours? Dude, I got two of them. Fuck. Look. And I got I my think, season three I, and I got I my stole season five. Some balls. I got them both. Okay. Settle down. Wait. I got some balls from the ball pit. <laughs> so you just got some random dirty plastic balls. So you could buy at Walmart. You could buy a whole bag of those at Walmart. Yeah, I know. I should have. I didn't think it. And, and uh, what the? Oh, I got that jacket I wore at the BB Can Awards. Have you ever been to the BB Can Awards? Oh, no. That's... Okay, Kiefer. Never have you ever been called back, Kiefer? Oh, wait, no. It's... Never been. <laughs> don't. Never uh... been to the BB Can Awards. Sorry. 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 Have you, sorry, sorry. How many days were you in the house? I don't know. Let's go look at the, let's go look at the, the list of who spent the most time in the house. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm like third or something overall. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. We, I, I haven't checked, but I've heard. He didn't know. Okay, you're fifth now. Despi oh, no. no Spi Spi Come on, no man. Sp Come on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Kira, thank you so much for that. Uh, I've added you in the draw. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're giving this away, bud. He's got 100 days. You probably got to beat. Uh, I'm up there. I don't know. What, I think it's 100 and something days. 102, 103, 101, something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep track. Yeah. It is what it is. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to play Big Brother again. And I'm okay. I'll play Family Feud someday like <laughs> everybody else. Are you um uh are you looking at getting another shows or what or just what, what's the plan? No comment. Oh, okay, Kiefer, don't do this with me. Don't do this. Okay? Listen, you know no I that gives me a legally headache. obligated to say no. Yeah. Problem. Okay. Anyway, uh, you, I already don't even. Let's not even go there right now because I'm not even gonna go there right now. I'm not even gonna go there right now. Anyway, so moving on. So who, who's your prediction? I know you said Dougie, but who's your? Okay. So here's the thing: for Dougie to win season four, or to 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 for Dougie to get by the final four, um, like I was saying, man, winning final five HOH is rough. He had to do it, but it's rough. 
Uh, but he only has one chance. But technically, two with, with Lexus in there. But uh, it's, it all comes down to this veto. He can't even play for the HOH. Everyone else has HOH and the veto. Uh, so they have a couple shots at it. So um, chances of him actually surviving, realistically, what do you think? I'd say 50%. Like, I mean, he's got a 50 50 shot. That's pretty good. It's, I think it's going to be him versus Todd in the veto. Bailey might surprise us, but I just know those those are beast comps that are, they're going to throw a lot of Big Brother knowledge at you, and they haven't uh, really proven in any of the comps that they know shit. Spicy keeps winning shit by guessing. Like nobody knows shit. I know it's so bad, dude. So, so bad. I studied every single fucking day in there, and the one time I stop studying and I start restudying, I'm off by one day on all my shit. So, oh, there, you really just have to nonstop study in there. Kiefer, there we go. K says, I'm at 104 days in the house. 104. That's the. Okay, you got spice then. You got of course spice. I got. Yeah. Pretty close, though. Spicy's probably at like 102. No, she's probably. Look, she did a great job. She's up there. She's up there for sure. Uh, but I mean, we played twice. I can't remember I mean. what day our. I think our double was on day 44. I can't remember. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't tell you anything. But anyway. Um, okay. So let's break it down a little bit. Uh, I want to go all the way back. I want to talk about things. When this season started and you saw week one, Dougie gets safety, V gets safety. They play for HOH, whatever it is. In my mind, I'm like, okay, man. Like, they get a week safety. They're probably going to get, you know, maybe week two, week three, they're going to get whatever. How did they? How did they go this far without not only – still being there they're still in the house but not getting nominated how how is it their gameplay is it the seat like this is what i'm trying to get at here um because i don't want to take anything away from them if they deserve it like i want to say hey it was them and i think they're doing a good job i don't want to take anything away but how how do they let these two go what is it 50 something days whatever the hell it is without touching the block two of them i think they were a really good team to start i agree out. with that i think they balanced each other out with Anthony's calmness and Spicy's chaos, I think between both of those game styles, they found a really good balance. And I think Spice got a really carried away with it and was enjoying it too much. Um, and Dougie just got to deal the first blow, right? So I, I think it was a perfect storm. And then also, you know, they're also super lovable, both of them. You've met Spice. You've met, oh, Doug, yeah. you know, both of them, you, you hang out with them for a little bit. You're, you're laughing your ass off. You're feeling like you've been friends forever and they're just special people. That's why they got cast in the first place. They got the juice. So they went in there with the juice and they just won every single one of those newbies over. Um, and it was just, I, I mean, again, not to take anything away. It was pretty masterful of Dougie and Spice, the way that they split the house, had their, pawns and 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 their side of the house and we're taking shots at each other but never at each other so yeah it was a perfect storm and yeah you know, I, I feel kind of bad for the first time players having to go up against dougie and spice because man spice will throw everything at you like she just did in this episode and go right at your throat and that's scary man i don't know i don't like that kind of shit what one of the things Sorry. I always say, and I'm going to say this, unless it's me, okay? If you ever go on a show, any show, it doesn't matter what it is, and this is for everybody in the chat, everybody watching this video later on YouTube, whatever it is, okay? If you ever get cast on a reality show and there is a returning player of any kind, you get them out immediately. Unless it's me, of course. Let me cook. Do my thing, okay? Anybody else, especially Kiefer, get them out, Okay. Because they have the experience and they don't care about you. You're disposable, okay? That's the reality of it. Uh, you think they're, that you're their friend and that they're, that they're your friend. They're not. You're just a stepping stone to, for them to get to the check. In your mind, if you're a new player, you're like, yo, I'm playing with whoever, this person, that person, whatever it is. We're, we're going to be friends. No, you're not. Uh, you're competitors. That's the reality. You're competitors. If there's ever a returning player on your season, do not care. 
get them out first immediately the audience isn't gonna like that who gives a shit at the end of the day you have one job to do and that's to win your season get them out don't let them cook or this is what happens it's just the reality of it but it have you see it time and time again people go and they just want to be friends with everybody oh you know i want to be you know how how do you let a guy that made it all the way to final two never touch the block how do you let him do it again how how and they were telling and you're having these conversations in the house about it how he's been to final two without touching the block how like he's literally telling you you're in you're in a you're against him in a season and he's telling you yeah i made it all the way to my season at the end without touching the block and yet he's still in the house like this is crazy to me i don't know it just blows my mind man blows my mind but that's what you're getting these days with these casts that's the modern big brother that's modern big brother and it's a shame you know i'd love for them to go back and just get people that are hungry get people that that want to play the game that don't care about what they just want to win they want it they have that hunger for it not like you know no disrespect i'm sure matt's a really nice guy i'm sure lexus is a really nice girl i'm sure vivek's a really nice guy i'm sure all these people are really nice goose i'm sure is a really nice guy i don't name every every cast member on this cast i'm sure they're nice but they had no business being on the on the show none like none at all um you don't have to answer that because i know you you know you for me i don't give a shit uh you don't have to reply to it but they had no business being on this show none you know what I mean? None, dude, period. And that's just, it, it sucks. But at the end of the day, um, as, as bad as they were, this season was awesome, man. This season was so good, entertaining. No gameplay, but it was so entertaining to watch them just crumble. And, like, you're just like, these. it's not even a game at this point. It's just like, I don't know. It was, it was just too easy. It was too easy. It was too easy. But uh, you're in, okay, let's, I'll put it as a, you're in the cast with Dougie. What do you do? Do you keep them around? Do you get rid of them? What, what do you do here? Or you're in the, in the cast with V. What do you do? Me? Yeah. I'm loyal to the soul, baby. I'm going all the way with them. I'm, and then you get cut at Final me. Five, and then oh. what? And I fucking break bottles and call people little bitches, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I I mean, it's all situational. But yes, I would be thinking about taking the shot. But I also have a crazy confidence in myself where I think I could beat both Dougie and Spice in any type of Big Brother competition that they throw at me. So if I was in the final three, I like my odds. I like my fucking odds. And that's the delusion that got me on the fucking show is because I am him. I am that motherfucker. I am going to beat Dougie and make it look easy. And Spice, are you kidding? Yo, I'm taking Spice down in two seconds. What are we talking about? Yeah, I'm going to ride with them. All right. That's a good, right. I just want your answer, man. There's no wrong answer. That's your answer. If I caught wind that they were coming for me, the butcher's going to show up, and I'm going to get blood all over my hands. I'm the Grim Reaper, baby. That's this what is why, I'm talking about. This is why I love you, man. This is why I love you. Keith's my boy, man. Like this is why I, this is why I love Keith. You know what I mean? I just got an unbelievable confidence in myself that that's good, just, man. I would have yeah. I would have beat them. Um, in the end, for sure, they would have to backdoor me and get me. That's the only way that it would be able to be done. There's no front door in this guy. Well, <laughs> you might not want to. Um, so <laughs> he said. <laughs> Uh, anyway. So, um, anyway, but okay, overall, Keith, what do you think of the season? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, I've been, I've been very entertained um, from episode one until tonight's episode and everything in between. I think it's been fun to watch. Um, it, it's been a bit disappointing for gameplay moves when they're throwing in these amazing twists. Um, the movie night massacre might have been one of the could have one of the greatest episodes in the history of big brother but they got rid of goose yeah they got rid of goose on this ginormous you know production was pissed to think that they did all of this to get rid of goose yeah it was are we dumb it was the greatest um episode i think i've ever seen i've never been more entertained in my life yeah. during an episode yeah greatest episode like, i've seen uh, absolute horrendous outcome like atrocious absolutely fucking atro but great episode i thought the whole concept was i hope they, i hope that becomes a staple i hope they do that again the production was in like big brother us needs to take some fucking notes 
Like that shit was, that was it. Mm-hmm. We were at the edge of our seats. Like as a viewer, that was amazing. So props to BB. Um, the ads are always a bit too much for me. Yeah. I, I can't handle the ads. We need and them. When I, I, I was I, on my season, yeah. I just, I straight up refuse to do them sometimes and I'll get in trouble, but I'm just like, I just can't be in this TikTok today, big brother. Like, please leave me alone. I wouldn't be able to um, do it either, man. That's my pro- that's my problem. Like, it's it's again, you know, I, I'm one of those guys. I don't, I never cared about the audience when I played. I'm not there to entertain the. I get it's a show and all that stuff, but like, I was focusing on one job, and that was to win. I didn't give a shit about you know talking to the cameras. I know the viewers like that stuff, and I know they appreciate that stuff, and that's what gets you know people loving you and stuff. I don't. I didn't care. For me, it was like I'm focusing on the house. If I had to do like TikToks and stuff in the house, like I, luckily we didn't have that in my season. I'd be like, get it out of my face. Like I'm not here for that crap. You too bad. You know what I mean? Like I'm here to do a job, and, and my job yeah. is to win and put some money in my kid's bank account. That's what it is. You know, um, that's the reality. So your season was was before the internet, though, right? Before the wheel. Was that dude. long ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was dial-up. Everyone was Bro, my, dial-up. my kids literally <laughs> picked up a phone, uh, uh, a rotary phone the other day, and they're like, what is this? And I was like, what do you mean, what is this? <laughs> so what do you mean, man? Uh, what is this? What do you mean, what is this? Literally legit. The other day they did that. I was like, okay, man, that's it. That's how you know you're getting – you know what I mean? That's how you know. Yeah, that's it. We're done. But um, – We're done. Yeah. You go, you, would you go back, Keith? If they ask me, but I ain't applying. I ain't, you, you can't know what? apply. Like, I just, they gotta ask I you, man. Yeah, well then, yeah. I, I, of course, I would. I'm not. I'm, I'm not a. I'm not an idiot. I would definitely go back. But I don't like. I know you're not gonna believe me. You could take it how you want. I just. I don't want to leave my family again for that shit. What's winning for me? What's winning? Dude, I, I, I would have, have to win man. this game. Like I. I just. I believe in myself wholeheartedly in the path that I'm on where I don't think I need to go on Big Brother again to be successful. Um, And I always thought that I need a Big Brother to be successful at the end of the day. Like I always thought that would change my life. And obviously it has, but I've always been me. I don't feel like I've changed too much after the show. I still have my same group of friends. Like I haven't, you know, I still live in the same house. (laughs) Like, I don't know. Um, It's Big Brother Canada at the end of the day. It was so much Mm -hmm. fun to play. I, I would definitely go back, but man. I, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy being away from my kids. I didn't enjoy being away from my family. I didn't enjoy being away from my dogs. I didn't enjoy being around people who didn't love me at the end of the day. Um, the, it was so much pressure. Like, I don't know if people know the pressure you're under when you're in those competitions. My fucking heart was racing almost every competition because from week fucking one and two, I, my ass was on the block every fucking week to start and there on out they were everyone was coming for my alliance it was it was like four of us versus the whole house so i just i didn't enjoy it <laughs> i did i didn't enjoy the slop i didn't enjoy the no music i couldn't sing i couldn't hum i couldn't nap i nap every day you're you, you're every a napper day. i'm a napper you're a napper whether it's for 20 minutes or an hour i just nap i just lay down i close my eyes i open them and some time has passed and i feel great I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, I, I would be open to doing other things uh, for sure that aren't so worth my time. You know, like, it's just so much time. I was gone for 87 days, cut off from the world when I did mine. That's way too much time. A lot of time. <laughs> now tell me how you feel, Bruno. Bro, this guy, like, they called. He's he's saying yes. He's not even gonna hesitate. Uh, you're gonna say yes. So, uh, no. Of course I'd say yeah. Of course I'd no, say. I, yes. I agree. I agree with everything you just said, man. Like that that was for me. It was it was hard. The, the second, even the second time when I went when I went back the second time, it was um, dude. It's like fuck. Do I want to do this again with the kids? And and uh, it re- it really is a big factor. It is a big factor. You know, we're not we're not you and I are. We're not 20 years old, man. We got you know there's kids and and we got families. Dude, yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. I- I don't even know how it would look if I like. I don't even know how I could leave for three months right now. Like I just don't know, yeah, if that's possible for my family. Like I just it, is me leaving actually worth the burden it puts on my family with right. me not being here. Like I, I mean, I'm sure we'd work it out, and I maybe my wife would be praying I'm pre-jury, <laughs> and then watch me get evicted, fucking first jury member. 
Um, and I got to, dude, I would, I would just quit the game and I'd leave. I would just, I would leave and I would salt my big brother name forever. It's tough, man. It's, it's tough because like I said, I don't know if I could leave. I wouldn't be able to do it again. For me, I know I wouldn't be able to do it again. I'm a hundred percent done with like, uh, you know, doing like a season of big, like, you know, I'd go in and do like a little thing, but I would to do a whole season again, impossible, man. Not a chance. But yeah, there's other stuff out there that, uh, that would be fun to do. And just, you know, a couple weeks here, you know, kind of thing, you know? Yeah. I'd be like, I don't know. I haven't really applied for anything, so uh, nobody's reaching out. So yeah, 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 yeah. This guy. Uh, but anyway, so okay, give me right now your winner pick right now. Uh, I'm going with the big Belboski, the great white shark, poutine poppy, him, Uggy. There it is. I, I next week to me if he could survive final four. To me, he survives final four. He wins the season, uh, but it it all comes down to that veto to me next next the veto the veto to me determines if Dougie wins or not. Uh, that's my take on it, for sure. Watch Lexus win the veto. I mean, if oh, if she that wins too, he's safe. I think that would be incredible. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I hope Dougie can pull this one out and be crowned, you know, one of the greatest Big Brother players, if not the greatest of all time. You know, he can only play with the cards that he's dealt. 100%. And right now, he's, he's stacked them up. It's yeah. not his fault that he's playing with these people. So, 100%. to me, he's done it massively. He's done what he's had to do. I've been very impressed with how um, tight-lipped he's been able to be with the amount of names he hasn't had to give out. And he'll just be like, whatever you want to do. Kind of no, I just coax him into what I say it the same way too. It's not done. his fault. He's you know he, yeah he you know the cast is the cast. We you can't control that, but that's what it is. You got to work with what you got, and, and he's doing a great job. He's doing an amazing job actually. And I and again I think V was too. Um, I'm just it's just you know it's sad to see it go. It would have been crazy to see it. if the two of them got to the final two. That would have been bonkers, man. Absolutely bonkers. Uh, but you know here we are. I don't know. I, I, I'm torn on it. I wish. I really wish they did, man. I, I just, I, I love them both so much. So, it, it was that was a hard, that was a hard watch to watch two of your homies just like duke it out on national television. Yep. And then the whole world gets to have an opinion about it. Yeah. And like, you know, like, it, it's the old like alumni adage is like you don't know what it's like. You've never been in there, but you really don't until you're in there and like. You see people in this light, and then all of a sudden that light changes, and they don't even look like the same person anymore. So I get what they're going through. Like for both of them, both of their lights dimmed and faded. So yeah, it, is it was what it tough, is. man. It's, it's you, I, I think she's gonna keep. A, I think she's gonna hold the grudge, man. I, I don't know. No, time heals all wounds. Mm -hmm. Spices. They're gonna want to. They're gonna. They they hang with the same crew. You I know. know what I mean. That's what I mean, though. They're like, man, it's tough because they're friends. I don't know why they put but the two I'm, of them I'm in saying, there together. I'm saying Saturday night. Let me look at the itinerary for. Uh, Are you going to finale? No, eh? No, I, just, I I actually decided today that I'm not gonna go. Yeah, same man, same, um, same, same. Oh, should I say where they're going? Okay, so they're going to a. So it's a group competition, and then they're going to a private bar with vip area and bottle service so by may 10th they're gonna be homies yeah is that a saturday yeah okay. no 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 may 11th may 11th canada's wonderland oh should i have said that i don't know whatever <laughs> canada's wonderland all the big brother peeps are gonna be there they're gonna be doing rides together and chilling there you go you heard it here guys exactly. you want to go there and meet them go there um marty are you going to the finale <laughs> there you go Kiefer did it Damn, Marty, are you going? I might change my mind. Kiefer called me today and he said, "Are you going to finale?" I said, "Are you going?" If if he's going, I'm not going. I was gonna book. I was gonna book my flights today. Yeah, I know. It's, I'm not doing it, man. It's, I'm just. I'm. No, you're. You're. you're I just. It, I would just be going to see Spice and Dougie, and then hang out with like you, which you're not going. And Betty and Josh are gonna go. So I love chilling with Betty and Josh. But other than that, and Summer. Yeah, I like summer. Other than that, other than that, I'm just right. Oh, and God, sweet. so I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna have FOMO, but uh, it's also Mother's Day weekend, right? Yep. Um. So I should. 
it's tough, my man. Family. It's tough. It's tough. But I want to say, Keith, is there anything you want to bring up? Anything you want to chat about? Um, about it? Is there anything you want to say? Yeah, I think someday we should fucking play Goose Goose Duck again, man. I'm ready to kill some motherfuckers. Why? <laughs> why are we playing that game no more? I, I don't know. Disappear for two weeks. All of a sudden, we never play that game ever again. It's done. And also, I do want to play some Warzone um, one of these days. Okay. I'll set that up with Jamar. Okay. Actually, I was talking to Jamar. Close. We're going to do it. Uh, we got to get Mark. I got to get, yeah, we're going to get you guys all set up. We got to, yes, I was talking to Jamar. He wants to do some COD. Uh, we got to get our rust off before Dougie gets back, man. Dougie's going to be like, you know, he hasn't been playing. Yeah, we haven't been playing. Updates, right. Dude, I'm telling you, we're going to no, I appreciate it. Keith, I want to say again, man, thanks for coming on and hanging out, buddy. You know how much I love you, and uh, he's, my, he's my buddy. So, guys, make sure you check him out. Follow all his stuff, his socials. Man, what's your socials, man? Say it up. Um, Keith Real on Instagram. Keith Carlson on Twitter. That's pretty much it. Keith Carlson on Facebook. Um, TikTok, Keith Carlson. I don't know what I am on any of these <laughs> things, to be honest. <laughs> But follow Bruno, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, send it, uh, subscribe on Kick. Do you still do Twitch? Are we I'm on, on Twitch? Twitch, man. Twitch, Kick, we do it all, man. Subscribe to Twitch. Let's get it done. Build the community because this is a dope ass community. There's some real motherfuckers in the chat. I'll tell you that. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. We got a good squad here. We got a good spot. We got a good spot, man. Keith, I love you, brother. You already know, man. Everything about you, you're my boy. And uh, I hope, honestly, realistically, I hope to see you on TV again uh, real, real soon. Like in the next couple months or so. I really hope so. What do you know? I've already said too much. All right, man. I will I've already said too much. <laughs> I hope to see you on TV soon, bud. Okay. All right, brother. Peace Be out, safe, guys. man. Thanks again for doing this.